Hello Highlanders, this is Mayor Rod Mann. Before I cover the agenda for tomorrow's council meeting, I'd like to briefly review what happened last week in our state relative to COVID-19. On Thursday, the governor declared that he was moving us from a red status to an orange status. In the process, he ordered that we follow the orange guidelines that are posted on the state website, coronavirus.utah.gov. In brief, that means we cannot open these playgrounds. Playgrounds will open when we hit yellow. I talked with the, ca the county health director this morning and asked if he knew what the conditions were for moving from orange to yellow, and he did not. He said the state is working on that. So I don't know when that will be. I expect before June we will be in yellow, which will be a really good thing because I think having the playgrounds open is important. Uh, team sports and high contact individual sports are not allowed in orange as well. On the good side, uh, restaurants are able to offer dine-in services. Now on to our agenda. We'll start out with unscheduled public appearances. Our meeting will be broadcast via YouTube Live. So if you would like to comment during our unscheduled public appearances, you can either call the phone number 253-215-8782 or send us an email prior to council meeting uh, to council at highlandcity.org. All right, then after the unscheduled public appearances portion of the meeting, we will have two presentations, one by Tony, Tony Johns. He's going to present an option for us to participate in a municipal slash private owned rec center. So I did meet with them a few weeks ago or participated in a meeting. The, the city portion of the partnership would involve us paying an annual fee to reserve time in their facility that they're creating. This year that will be a bit of a challenge because of the reduction in revenue that we're going to see because of COVID-19, but it is an interesting concept. And then Youth Council will do a presentation. After that, we have four consent items. The first item on the consent agenda is approval to replace heater boilers at City Hall and the police station. The police station boiler went out and it was installed at the same time that the, the City Hall boiler was installed. They're both at end of life. The police one failed. So we're looking at replacing both of them because we can get a, a, a modest discount if we replace both of them. I think that's a, a good thing and we should do that. Uh, that money will come out of our reserves, which is what reserves are for unexpected expenses. The next item is a resolution annexing 473 square feet into Highland. The annexation is from county land owned by a resident who has property in Highland that is adjacent to it and he wants to move a small piece of that from the county into Highland. That should be an easy yes. Next is approval of a franchise agreement with Centricom to do business in Highland. Centricom provides telephony and high-speed internet services via fiber optics and looks like they're looking to expand into Highland so that's an administrative action that should be readily approved as well. Then uh, Central Utah Water Conservancy District wants to build a pump station for Alpine City. It'll be located just north of SR 92 and west of the gravel pit near the mouth of the canyon. So it's it fits the R140 zone. It's already been through Planning Commission. It was approved 6-0. Homeowners that live near near where it will be constructed made some requests, which I believe the those requests were already adopted and put into the plan. So that should be an easy yes as well. Our first action item is a request to revise the concept plan for Highland Vista townhomes. Those are the town's homes located west of Arctic Circle, and they are going to be expanding south to. Um, the land behind Ace Hardware. Uh, currently, they're 
plans call for a mandatory basement, this will just make it an optional basement. So I, I don't see any big concerns with that. We've allocated 15 minutes for the discussion. It could go faster than that. Next, staff is asking to amend Chapter 3.08 of our municipal code relative to purchases and encumbrances. They're requesting some changes in the amounts, the, the dollar thresholds, and are asking to have our current bidding processes put into the municipal code so that it's clear to everybody what those are. I think they're by and large good changes. Um, staff will review that with the council and we'll see what they do there. Next, uh, we recently re were reviewed by the state auditor on fraud risk assessment and they came back with some recommendations. There were no required changes, but they did recommend that we make some changes. So staff put together plan A and plan B for council to review on the changes that we could make. I think they're all positive in nature. Next, we'll discuss uh, our 2021 budget a little bit. Staff will review with us uh, potential negative impacts from COVID-19. Uh, we do see negative revenue growth for both the sales and gas tax. And we're just trying to give council some background here so that when we have our tentative budget approval at our next council meeting, they'll have some more information to back up uh, the decisions we make relative to the budget. After our finance discussion, we'll have a, a couple of staff communication items. First will be a Victor View lift station bypass project review by our city engineer, Todd Train, after which he will review the Canal Boulevard project. Um, many of you know that as the East-West Connector project, which is the construction of a road between Alpine Highway and North County Boulevard on the south end of town. Spoiler alert, that was out to bid and the bid was awarded last week. Unless something changed, uh, construction is planned to start sometime in June. Our next meeting will be May 19th. So have a great week.